Mike Tyson's journey from the streets of Brooklyn to the pinnacle of boxing history is a tale of resilience, raw talent, and redemption. Born on June 30, 1966 in Brownsville, Brooklyn, Tyson grew up in an environment rife with crime and hardship, which shaped his early life and introduced him to the harsh realities of survival. His father abandoned the family when Tyson was just a child, leaving his mother to raise him and his siblings alone. The struggles of his youth led Tyson into a life of petty crime, but it was also during these turbulent times that he discovered his calling. Tyson's raw power and aggression in street fights caught the attention of Bobby Stewart, a juvenile detention center counselor and former boxer. Recognizing Tyson's potential, Stewart introduced him to Cus D'Amato, a legendary boxing trainer who had previously mentored champions. D'Amato saw in Tyson not just a troubled youth, but a diamond in the rough. He took Tyson under his wing, providing him with discipline, training, and most importantly, a sense of belonging and purpose. D'Amato became a father figure to Tyson, shaping his physical skills and instilling in him the psychological warfare needed to dominate in the ring. Under D'Amato's guidance, Tyson developed a fearsome fighting style, characterized by his explosive speed, devastating power, and unrelenting aggression. His peekaboo stance, a technique refined by D'Amato, allowed him to protect himself while simultaneously unleashing powerful counterattacks against his opponents. Tyson's rise through the amateur ranks was meteoric, culminating in his gold medal win at the 1981 and 1982 Junior Olympic Games. Tyson turned professional at the age of 18, and his career took off at an unprecedented pace. He won his first 19 professional bouts by knockout, 12 of them in the first round, earning him the nickname Iron Mike. Tyson's style was unlike anything the boxing world had seen, and his intensity inside the ring captivated audiences. In 1986, at the age of 20, Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in history by defeating Trevor Burbick for the WBC title. His victory was not just a personal achievement, but a symbol of triumph over adversity. However, Tyson's career was not without its challenges. The death of D'Amato in 1985 left a void in Tyson's life that he struggled to fill. His meteoric rise to fame and fortune brought with it a host of new challenges, including battles with addiction, tumultuous relationships, and run-ins with the law. Despite these setbacks, Tyson's impact on the sport of boxing remained undeniable. He unified the WBA, WBC, and IBF titles, becoming the first heavyweight to hold all three belts simultaneously. Tyson's aggressive style, coupled with his compelling backstory, made him a global icon. His fights became major events, drawing attention from beyond the traditional boxing audience. However, his career also saw dramatic lows, including his shocking loss to Buster Douglas in 1990 and his conviction and imprisonment in 1992. Upon his release, Tyson sought to reclaim his former glory, winning the WBC and WBA titles again. Yet the latter part of his career was marked by controversy, including his infamous disqualification for biting Evander Holyfield's ear in their 1997 rematch. Despite these controversies, Tyson's legacy as one of the greatest and most influential boxers of all time remains intact. Tyson's story is one of a relentless fight against the odds, both inside and outside the ring. From his humble beginnings in Brooklyn to the heights of global fame, Tyson's journey is a testament to the power of resilience, the impact of mentorship, and the redemptive quality of sport. His legacy extends beyond his records and titles, inspiring generations of athletes to believe in the possibility of transformation and redemption through dedication and hard work.